Hey guys, I'm here in my fur shed today. Um, somebody asked me to make me make them a little video of my fleshing beam. So while I'm in here, I'll do that, and I'll also talk about my stretcher boards and uh, a few other things that I've been up to. But we'll start with the fleshing beam. Here it is. Here, it's a five-foot piece of cherry that I used a links board to figure out the measurements for the sides to taper it down and at the bottom it's got two angle irons bolting it to the wall another one bolting the piece of cherry to it and a piece of threaded rod along the inside of the cherry through and through for t pivoting um, and then I can undo my chain bring my board down to where I need it or my beam and you can see now it's ready for work and I rounded down the top it's not perfect and still needs a bit of work but uh, it's got most contact most of the way down up to about here because that's about as far as I want to be able to reach and that's it I paid about 20 bucks for the cherry the angle iron work cost me about 20 bucks to get done which I probably could have done myself but I didn't really have the tools for drilling through steel so having said that I had somebody do it <clears throat> but anyways um, that's it it's just basically a two inch piece of cherry that's been worked to give me a nice beam uh, it still needs a bit of work but Hey, nothing's perfect when you make it yourself, I guess, unless you're perfect. And so that's it. <clears throat> I can store it up out of the way. And there you go. Also, you can see all my stretcher boards. I've got coyote there. A little close, I guess. My coyote boards and lynx boards are there. Uh, otters on the outside, raccoons closer to the beam, fox, fisher, three rows of martin boards and mink male boards, two rows of female mink boards, female martin boards, uh, weasel boards, some more fisher boards, two fox boards, and then up here I think I've got six or seven other otter, raccoon, and fox boards that didn't fit on the nails. Um, all those boards, I made for 200 bucks plus my own labor. It's all cherry, or not cherry, <laughs> yeah right. It's all cedar, and it was all offcuts or cheaper lumber that I bought to make my stretcher boards. And I figured it out, if I was to have bought all of those stretcher boards at Fur Harvesters, it would be pretty close to a thousand bucks. Um, I know the coyote, the wolf boards are almost 45 bucks from fur harvesters. The coyote boards are 40 bucks. The lynx boards are kind of like $30 to buy. So for me, it was a matter of saving 800 bucks and having a lot of stretcher boards at the same time. Like you can see, I think I've got 24 uh, Martin boards are close to it for males. I got six or seven uh, fox boards. I've got a dozen or so fisher boards. Otter boards, I got eight or nine. Coon boards, I've got six or seven. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you that sometimes it's easier to, or it's cheaper to just go buy the lumber and do the work yourself. And that's what I did. Um, my boards may not be perfect, but they're pretty darn close. Same with the, uh, I used the Fur Harvester's Pelt Preparation posters and the Pelt Preparation book to figure out my dimensions. And that's how I made my boards. And then you can see I've got, uh, <clears throat> muskrat stretchers, wire stretchers. I've got raccoon wire stretchers, which I don't use. And then I've got these stretchers, which if I can get one out here, maybe somebody can tell me. 
It's too small to be a, a coon stretcher and too big to be a, a muskrat, but I've got that stretcher as well. I'm not sure what it's for. I don't actually use them because I don't know what to use them for. So maybe somebody can tell me what they're for and maybe I can start using them for that. But until then, I'm not using them and I just use the wooden boards anyways. I prefer the wooden boards except for the muskrats. So anyways, that's that. And then you can see here I've got five poplar poles made up ready for snaring more beavers tomorrow or starting to snare more beavers tomorrow and then we'll also uh, make up a few more so that I can I'd like to have 12 out before the end of the week and hopefully get me 10 or 12 beavers I only have nine more to catch so we'll see what happens but that's basically it that was my morning in the fur shed my flushing beam and I hope you enjoyed the video.